Hey there, YouTuber. This is Bearcat William Scully Computer Services, and today I'm gonna show you, um, um, what can you tell, how to tell if your optical drive on your, or disk drive, or whatever you're gonna call it, it's not ring the disk, and it needs, it, it needs, it, it, it needs to be repaired. So, basically, this is uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna be working on the Dell um, all one one computer uh, just for this. Uh, for, I'm gonna be uh, showing you an example of my Dell and Spurry on one twenty three twenty, um, and these these principles can pretty much work with pretty much any 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 other computer like. Not just these laptop disk drives, like the all-in-one disk drives, like the like the traditional laptop. It's meant for your laptop, but you can, but you can call, you can, but you can also call it an, an all-in-one disk drive as well. And and um and um if 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 your optical drive is not ring the disk, you should check the disk. Before we go any further, to see if it's scratched up or damaged or dirty or not. So here we have this buffery the Vampire Slayer DVD, and as you can see, we do a visual inspection of the disc. That's the first thing we need to do uh, before we go further is check the disc. Um, if you see minor scratches or damages or dirty, you can try resurface it. If not, just if you can't, just try another disc. So here's an empty disc. As you can tell, it look it looks in good shape. Uh, apologize to the dust particles from um, sitting there, not in the case, but you can see. So as you can see, there is a tiny bit of dust particles, but it doesn't really affect anything as long as you take good care of it. But either or not, and and, and if you're and if you drive, does it uh, refuse to read the disc? Then you know there's probably something to do with with with, with the drives laser assembly, which is this which is this little device right here that reads your disc. The laser's job is to read what's on this on this disc, and then the sectors, which is the grooves at the bottom, the laser reads the information, all the messages on the disc. So, 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 it, it the laser up there, get this show kicked off. It, it the laser is really dirty, and or if the laser is it, if the laser is dirty, you can try cleaning it. Yeah, if, if the laser is dirty, you know, cleaning it, clean it with the with the alcohol and with and the Q tips and just rub it around. Just don't. You know, keep cleaning it, because otherwise you ruin your drive. So, take your time, and then do a visual inspection. Use the light on my phone. Oops. Hang on a second here. You can see on the flashlight, get a better close-up here. The laser on this one looks in good shape. It's just a, a little bit of a this part. Just, just, just a tiny, tiny bit. He can see it looks perfect. See, we want that. So, so let me zoom it back out. And, and, and that does not work. Now, look at, uh, at, at the back, back of the laser. So, um, these trim pots, these are you can tell the this 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 particular drive. Look, let me put the disc in here so the drive, I mean the lens won't won't get messed up by any man. So put the disc in and wait. So you can if you take a look here, you can see these these are called trim pots. So. One will be for the DVD, and then one will be for the CD. If, for example, if your DVD starts playing, but 
like if you can't burn DVD but still burn CDs you can try you can bright the laser up but not too bright just take your time cuz you don't want to burn your laser dialed so you know just take your time and try to try try to disc in here and just try if you still can't go further just go a little bit more and just mess around with it and just do the same thing for the CDs and just keep doing it until you get the the discs to read DVDs and CDs to read and burn and just in quick chance if you go too bright you can possibly burn up your laser down that's no good and if the laser ever burns out then then you're out of luck and you just need to get a new the laser assembly which is this little unit right here that that lights up that has a red light that comes on that reads the disc and then as or not either or not and if the drive still refuses to read the disc or and or, or what we call it, if the drive has a still still have a hiccup with reading the disc or burn the disc then you know that the laser is bad it, it, and it needs to be repaired if it's not repairable you can it needs to be replaced and it needs to be replaced so if you guys wondering uh one in the comments how can you take out the um the optical pickup the laser pickup when you are replacing the laser pickups, you gotta make sure that you uh, f that you find a one that is very identical to this one. Okay, all right. So to do that, uh, to take the optical pickup from the drive, you have to take out these. There's one uh, on this uh, on this particular draw. There is one, two, and three screws right here and then I mean you don't need to, to take these screw out uh, these screws out you, you only have to um, take the screw out uh, uh, take one out just because um, it's designed um, to swing you know you know when it takes out when you pull the little thing right here a little what do we call it a little cylinder right here the laser comes right out and then once you get the new laser out, put the new one in, and then fasten the and then fasten the screws, and then um, in order to get to uh, to the bottom of the drive, you have to take this this metal cover off, this 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 shield off. This particular drive shield has one, two, three, four screws to open up. And then, you know, that holds this drive, this assembly mechanism, the drive, what you call it, the drive assembly. And it's got rubber bumpers to help, to help protect the drive from excessive vibrations. So the laser can focus on the writing and all that. So, you can see there's one, two three and four screws right here just take your time it's because you know that take your time just be very careful is because 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 you because you don't want to damage the ribbon cables you know just take your time and be very careful so now once after that and once you take um I mean sorry you, you don't you don't have to take these two screws out just own that screw right here once you get once you get the old pickup out, just put the new one in, and then, and, and then, and then, uh, when you are replacing, uh, when you replace your pickup, you gotta make sure this part is attached. If you guys wonder what that is, this makes the gears, I mean the motor, this sled motor makes the laser move back and forth. Alright, let's show you that, so... See, it goes all the way forward, and then watch the gears. I mean, yeah, the big gear, the motor. Alright. Making sure it moves very smooth. 
you know, take your time so you don't damage the um, the laser assembly because you know these things are so fragile. These things are. See, you know, take your time. Once it moves very smoothly, then you're all set and ready to go. And um, if this does not move very smoothly, then 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 you're out of luck. Uh, I think you can get like a stronger spring and and then try to just make it make an adjustment a little bit just you know take your time is because it is because just you can bend this up just a little bit because because you don't want to get too much pressure uh, uh, use use too much pressure because otherwise because these things are made out of plastic and then they can break easy and you simply have to get a new this part right here that moves the laser by the motor thing. So, other than that, so sorry for such a long video. I, I I hope you guys enjoy this repair video of how to fix an optical drive that's not reading your disc. Uh, so if we if we're trying to find a drive that it's identical to this one, I would definitely gonna make a video to show you how to replace the laser pickup. If you guys wondering, this is the laser right here. See, it plugs into the uh, it plugs into this to this motherboard right here, <coughs> and you just put the screws in. I mean, not the screws. You have to put it into the drive. Just simply and just put these screws in to fasten. And also, I kind of learned that from my way. The uh, when they install in the factory, they put the springs uh, uh, at the bottom. So um, it's it's a great idea to uh, you see that spring right here. You know, I did that so the. Um, so the laser can focus more on 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 on, on and, and that way so the laser will, will make it more focused on which it also can make it burn better uh you know you can do it for some of the drives but but not all the drives can do that you know because otherwise this won't move very smoothly enough then so we have to put it back to you know you know just take your time and yeah Sorry, guys. Other than that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this drive back together off camera. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. That's a siren in the background on the TV, so excuse that. Hopefully, it doesn't get copyright, but not gonna focus on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video to show you how to fix your uh, optical drive if. If it, if it, if it, if it, if it ever stops burning for some reason, you know, or, or if it has a hiccup of reading CDs and DVDs or can't play or whatever you call it, it could be just symbols this right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I know it's getting late, so I want to wrap this up. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you, if you found this video helpful and then like to learn more about optical drives like I am, cause you know, cause it's because I can face any other optical drive, like, I'm gonna show you. This is an optical drive that came out of an iMac. Look, see? Guys wondering, they have very similar components. But, but the, uh, but the difference between the, this... It's a slot loading drive mechanism, so it's got all the loading arms that grabs it, the disc in place. And, um, and, um, you know. I'm gonna try to find an, another slot load drive that looks just like that and then put it into my iMac. But before that, I'm gonna make, um, an adjustment so, so the disc grabs few more millimeters like right there just like that and it grabs it so and I think uh, 
some of the drives you can probably make an adjustment to make the disc go a few more millimeters and makes this motor turn on so kind of interesting because a lot of people don't know that those optical drives can be repaired but yeah we all know that because we are computer technician all right guys i know it's getting late hope you guys enjoyed this uh tutorial and how to tell video if your optical drive refuses to read a disc or just sitting there not doing anything it could be just simple as repairing the laser pickup if it's not repairable replace it with uh, the one that it's identical so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you um if you guys learned something like share and subscribe and yeah i hope you guys save yourself a lot of money fixing your optical drops yourself so once again always be careful work hard and and as always save you some money thank you for watching hope you enjoyed catch you guys in the next one peace out